again. Um, can I just say, I've lost a stone and a half, right? And I feel like I'm starting to lose my chins. I mean, there's still a chin there. That there's still we still got a chin, but I feel like I've got a neck. I've got a neck. Like there is a neck there. So I'm quite happy. Uh, looking this morning, I'm like, oh. <laughs> anyway, shut up now. It's right. Today's set of nails is quite busy and I'm going to be using a new collection from Madame Glam. It's a holographic collection and stupidly I didn't write down all the uh, all the names of the gel polishes. Only the gel polishes in that collection that I've used today is what I'm going to name in the video. So, But there are, I think there's eight gel polishes in the collection. They're all super, I'm going to just go down a bit. They're all super lovely uh, and I'm going to be using five in today's set with some other bits. So, uh, it, but do bear in mind, it's... hang on a minute, take two. Um, do bear in mind, it's a very, um, it's a very busy set. There's a lot going on. And initially I wasn't going to post this set because I didn't know if I liked it or not. But you know what? I kind of changed my mind and thought, you know what? Let's just go with it. So I'm going to show you the new collection okay take three it was actually the postman so the dogs barked for good reason i didn't hear the knocking okay so um i can't remember saying yeah busy set a uh, lot going on um but yeah hopefully you'll like it so let's start the video i have to try and make sure that i click play at the same time so that we're in sync <coughs> right <clears throat> initially i was going to use these rainbow decals from the pastel rainbow decals from nail sugar but I actually decided, in, let me turn that this way a bit. I actually decided in the end that I wasn't going to use them, but the colours I'm using from Madame Glam are Eternal, Lovesick, Bubble Bath. These are really nice. They're really lovely. Uh, Peppermint Kiss and Hello Lover. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be using five of those. Uh, also Perfect White, because why not? Right, Perfect White goes on really nicely and it's so pigmented and you only need a nice thin layer. It's actually probably one of the nicest whites that I've ever had. It's it's stunning. These iridescent butterflies are absolutely amazing. They're from Nail Sugar. Um, you can get 10% off Nail Sugar stuff, including glitters and shapes and decals and other pigments and bits using my code NATMUG10. The link and the discount code will be in the description box below for you anyway. Also, you can get 30% off Madame Glam using my code NATMUG30. Again, the discount code and the link will be in the description box. So for this butterfly nail, I've put some base coat on the nail and I'm literally gonna cover the whole thing in these butterflies. The base coat isn't cured. So the, yeah, I'm going to cover it and I've just skipped forward because it took quite a long time to cover the whole nail, but they look amazing. I love them. There is one there, but it's very, it's a sort of tr translucent one. So I've cured that in the lamp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with another layer of base coat just to smooth out any, the surface might be a little bit bumpy where there's so many butterflies on there. Oh, I just knocked that. So what I'm doing is I'm going over with a layer of base coat and then I'm going to go over with, this is the no wipe top coat, but I didn't show it. So hopefully now we've put that base coat on before we put the top coat on, it will be a bit smoother. Um, if you do find you've got any rough bits, you can just file, go over with a, go over with a buffer. I don't know why I used a file because a file, you might buff, you might file through too much. But this look, this gives you an idea of what they look like, Matt. I love them like that. But we're gonna make them glossy. So this is the no wipe top coat again after we've given it a buff. And look at look how gorgeous these look. Ooh, look at my hair, it's all uh, poking out. I love these. Are you ready? Oh. Hang on, I'm gonna do it a bit better here. So it's been in the lamp and it's cured. And I just, I think they're cool. I think they're lovely. They're so cute. Yes. Okay, so now, again, I'm using the white, but I'm only gonna put one coat of the white on. If you're doing this on a person, you might need to apply two. 
coats but for the tip one coat was absolutely fine what i'm gonna do now is i'm taking but i want to do like a rainbow thing i don't know why when i do stuff like this i always think oh i do a rainbow thing look it's me i've got a spot i don't think it's there oh yeah it's still there <laughs> So we're gonna do like a rainbow thing kind of wave um and i done this this went horribly wrong it didn't go horribly wrong it just didn't work out how i had planned so i've got like a line on here like a curved line on here and then what i wanted to do was this line was going to curve onto this nail so if you need to put them next to each other it didn't, do you know, in the end, it didn't matter because I didn't even put these two nails next to each other. They were going to go next to each other, but they don't end up next to each other because it just went a bit wrong. So what I wanted to do was, I started with this pinky colour. This kind of a muted pink. But if you, I really wish I'd, what I'll do is I'll put, yeah. So can you see, we start on one and go on to the other. And then I've gone on to the purple. But then I was thinking, hang on, if I go upwards... I'm not going to be able to put them all on like because I put the purple on and then I put the blue on but I'm only going to get a little bit of blue on the top nail do you know what I mean and it's not gonna so in the end I had to kind of I ended up going one way on one nail and then the other way on the other nail am I making sense so what I'll do is I'll just go see look so now I'm gonna have to put the blue on the top on the first nail I put the blue underneath the pink and then on the other nail I put it on top of the purple which is where i wanted it in the first place so it kind of didn't work out as i planned but i didn't think about it very well in the beginning i this this set was well and truly winged winged it i did oh hang on okay volume down <laughs> there we go so i've got my like rainbow kind of things done and I'm going to use, this is the Vanilla Frosting Glitter. This is from the Candyland collection, the new Candyland collection. And it looks beautiful on white. I love it so much. So what I'm going to do is the areas on the, uh, I just felt like I spat, spat a little bit. Uh, on the areas, oh, it's my phone. I'm watching the video. <laughs> Stop it, just do it, okay. I've put base coat on and I'm just putting a little bit of the glitter into that uncured base coat so i don't want i don't particularly need to cover the whole bottom part with glitter i just want a nice little sprinkling and this glitter isn't um you know it's not a massively chunky glitter so it, it works nicely with gel polish as well i'll just put a little bit up the top and then i will cure that for 30 seconds and then i'm going to do the same on this one at the top and the bottom and then I decided to use food coma. I'm going to do a couple of nude nails. See, initially I was like, this is such a mismatched set of nails. But I think in the end it was kind of so mis mismatched that it kind of just went. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, two coats of food coma. It's actually a really nice nude. Then that will go in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Right, I'm going to top coat these four. The rainbow nails, because the... Uh, what are they? Because the, the hollow, because they're hollow, these gel polishes are hollow, we're going to top coat these with the no wipe top coat, which is the shiny one. Spitted out nuts. And then the two... The two nude nails, we're going to do velvet matte top coated here we go look this is the velvet matte top coat it's one of my favoriteest ever top coats in the whole wide world ever 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 i love it make sure you go over all of the nail otherwise you'll end up with some shiny bits there you go and then again that will go in the lamp for 30 seconds and then See, this is the this is the part where I kind of got to here and I I, uh, I done this bit. So we're gonna add some like embossed butterflies. So two bigger blobs, right? Using a big dotting tool, and then underneath those we're gonna put two smaller dollops, right? And then we're gonna use a detailer brush, and I'm just gonna link up the two dots 
so they end up looking like little butterfly wings it's just such a pip's way of doing it leaving a gap in the middle there we go itchy nose that must mean something i don't know what it means is someone talking about me or is that your ears i can't remember uh, and then we're going to use some acrylic but i'm using this is vanilla ice from rachel wilder's and it's got a really nice like shimmer in it so i thought we'd use this because do, by doing this we're going to lose the holographic um the the hollow from the gel polish we're going to lose that so i thought well if i use this vanilla ice at least then it will have a bit of a shimmer so i'm just letting the gel polish soak up the acrylic if they know if the gel polish goes shiny again you want to make sure you put some more acrylic on and then pop it in the lamp and when i do these i like to double cure them and then when they come out just brush off the excess glitter and you've got this cute clue we've got this cute shiny butterfly so i ended up like doing the i ended up doing some more using some of the gel polish that we put on the palette and then just to finish off the butterflies i'm using madame glam's black gel paint and again using the detailer brush I'm don't know what was there hair. Uh, it looks like there's a face in the gel pot in the gel paint. <laughs> it looks like a smiley face. But right, just like little blob and bring it down. And that's yeah. So you get you got a little little blob on and then bring it down. And then you'll end up yeah, and it's just like the butterflies and ten eye things. Okay, so the gel paint needs 60 seconds in the lamp. These little flowers I got from Amazon. My uh the lovely Elaine. Um, I asked her where she got them from because I absolutely love them and she was like Amazon I was like yay that's good because Amazon Amazon's pretty quick these little crystals are called Argent Flare they're Preciosa crystals from Crystal Parade you can use code NAT5 to get 5% off those a link and uh, dis link and discount code will be in the description box below they're kind of they kind of look clear but they're not I think the bigger the size the bigger up the sizes you go the more colour they'll look like they've got in them but they look to have a kind of yellowy color to them but i can't tell because the crystal is quite small so i don't know um <clears throat> but i thought i'd use those because they're just nice and small <laughs> i don't know so i've put the uh, i'm using nail Camille's crystal totalist gem glue and underneath the rainbow on this nail i i'm just going to put like a little like a like a <laughs> whatever one of those is of flowers and crystals and those little caviar beads the caviar beads actually come with the flowers which was quite nice i just i'm obsessed with these little flowers at the moment i did have a look because i think rachel wilders has got them now as well but i couldn't see them on her website so i i didn't obviously get them from her but I wanted them like yesterday, so I couldn't I couldn't wait either. So it was like off off to Amazon for me. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> right, and then so once I've got like a nice I'm going off camera. Oh I always do this at some point. Um yeah, just sort of filling in some gaps with the beads, caviar beads. And I'm going to do the same on this one, but up here. And I think what I done as well was I added some caviar beads to the top of the flowers. Look, and then that's that's the crazy busy set done. I'm going to call them busy bees because Karen said they were busy, and I was like, yes, that's a great description. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow with a cherry blossom set. I love tomorrow's set so much. Urgh, I can't wait to show you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, have an amazing Thursday or what's left of it for some of you it might be Friday I don't know anyway gonna see you tomorrow <laughs> love you all